The Brainerd Walkable and Bikeable Committee's goal is to simply make Brainerd a more friendly community for bikers and walkers. Tonight, the group hosted a public forum to present their non-motorized transportation plan and hear feedback on what to improve in the Brainerd community. Our Chelsea Brown has more. The idea of the non-motorized transportation plan is to help develop a culture to embrace non-motorized transportation activities. So we want to we want to make that become part of our city culture. Even though the Brainerd Lakes area is known for its recreation activities, simple pathways and sidewalks are not always accessible throughout town which is why the Brainerd Walkable and Bikeable Committee has put together a 10-year non-motorized transportation plan to create a safe and interconnected bicycling and walking system. We're proposing a lot of things in this plan, a lot of different, from very little projects to maybe a few stripes on a, on a cross path, crosswalk. I mean, that's simple. Not, it's not that it's not important, but it's easy to do to bigger projects like multi-use trails. A survey study also helped the committee follow through with their ideas, seeing there is a large interest in making Brainerd more walkable and bikeable friendly. That's when the routing began. But it still looks like it would work out from Willow Street south to have a better uh, biking and pedestrian uh, accommodations down to Wright Street and down to the fairgrounds. We do have our bike lanes uh, on Willow Street and that it's recommended that they continue with bike lanes all the way down to College Drive. The committee has set aside a three-tier project to finish their development. Tier 1 includes identifying crosswalks to add to the safety of pedestrians. Tier 2 outlines infrastructural improvements. And Tier 3 contains 27 projects that would make Brainerd a more non-motorized friendly community. The committee realized that they couldn't build sidewalks in every block, on every street and every block in every part of town. Mm -hmm. So what they tried to do was take the areas of town and connect the important locations, shopping, schools, churches, parks, those types of activities. Their hope is to get the city on board and find partnerships to help secure the funding. The committee believes that as a result from this plan put into action, it will connect Brainerd with neighboring cities, improve community health and safety, and bring economic benefits to the community. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. Both the city of Baxter and the city of Crookston have sparked interest in the Brainerd plan and are looking to propose something similar in their cities. The walkable and bikeable committee hope to revisit the plan after hearing feedback at their next meeting on July 25th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.